hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial today i'm going to show you how to make this audio animation as i call it uh, as you can see we have these uh, bars or blocks uh, similar to some music players and they are being animated and I, actually we don't have a music in the background but this is just a nice animation to guide your users to a place where for example music can be played and as you can see it's a really nice animation that gives a really I would say a cool effect to your website and okay now that you have seen it let's go ahead and code it okay here we have a blank HTML document as always and let's start with our HTML first so let's place a div give it a class and class will be audio anim frame that's animation frame and inside of this frame we'll have those three bars so again first div give it a class first class for it will be audio anim I call it a block but you can call it a bar or whatever uh, more convenient for you and this will be first block and let's just highlight it copy and paste it two more times and we'll change these classes to second and whoops and third so that's it for our HTML now let's head to our CSS let's first of all place this margins and paddings zero then let's move to our frame so audio anim frame uh, its position will be first of all absolute position absolute and what we're going to do here is place this frame this whole frame in the middle of our website I've uh, shown you in previous videos how to center align text or just any other element on your website so I'm not going to explain this uh, coding right here in detail you can go ahead and check out my previous video I will put the link in the description so we're going to transform translate x axis minus 50% and translate y of minus 50 as well okay now we're not going to see any effect because we haven't coded our animation block so let's do it audio anim block first of all let's set display property to inline block so they are aligned next to each other the width for them will be 8 pixels and the height will be 40 pixels and that's j just in this case you can obviously change them as you like background color I set it to just red but again you can style it however you like it so let's continue and now we're going to set those animations in but first of all let's save it and have a look at it what we have so far yeah so as you can see we have our three bars and the last thing is we need to set those animations in so let's do it so we're going to set our animations in using keyframes so at keyframes and now let's set the name of this animation so it will be first block and we are going to do here is set 0% and then we're going to set what this uh, element should look like at 0% so it's going to be we're going to transform it and we're going to scale it on y axis and will be 
one and now we're going to we're going to highlight this one right here copy it and paste it two three so we have four of these elements and then we're going to set in 25 percent 50 percent and 100 percent and what this basically does as you can see is it says okay to every element that has a first black animation or keyframe frame set to it on zero percent it will scale to one on 25 percent it will be in this example 0 0.6 uh, of its original height then 0. Point, whoops, 0. 0.4 and again to 1 and now we're going to target our uh, audio anim block and we're going to target first block and first of all animation name animation name we're going to set first block and this is the as you can see here this is the animation name so you can uh, again change it to whatever you like just remember to set it uh, the same name here first block then the animation duration we want it to happen over one second and again you can change all of these properties right here and then here to wherever you like then animation iteration count we're going to set it at infinite so the animation animation will happen over and over again so uh, in other words it will loop and then animation timing function and it will be linear in this case so save it go ahead into our browser refresh it yes yeah, so you can see we have the first block animating and what we're going to do it next is just highlight this code right here copy it paste it two more times and we're just going to change those names and then classes so this will be second block we're going to change also animation properties for it this will be 0 0.1 this will be 0 0.2 and here also second second duration will be the same and everything else also will be the same here also just change third change it to 0 0.9 and 0 0.2 in this case and here again target the third element and the name for it was third so save it go ahead into our browser browser refresh it and yes as you can see we have working uh, audio animation as you can see it gives a nice effect and obviously as I told you before you can change all of these properties as you like so you you don't have to necessarily scale it on y-axis you can do other sorts of crazy things with it change color or or you know whatever you like for example here let's set it the background color to blue save it and it should change as you can see it changes the color for it so you can you can experiment and go crazy with it and yeah it, it will be that will be it for for this tutorial in near future i want to also include some background audio that you can uh, that you can pause play or mute and unmute and just maybe build up uh, to this tutorial and to this animation right here so that uh, will be for future lessons so stay tuned subscribe and hopefully see you in next tutorials okay thank you and bye